and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a back to school school supplies haul. Um, I know school's coming up very, very soon. I start school in like two weeks almost. Um, so that's coming up very, very fast and I know some people might not have their school supplies yet. So this video is going to be just a little bit of a guide on maybe what you want, you want to get or just anything like that. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that bell so that way you know whenever I post. I post every Thursday now instead of Wednesdays. Please follow me on all my social media. Those will be linked down below in the description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing in the haul is a backpack. And for me, I like getting the backpacks from Pink. So there's this one. It's gold and has this little rose gold detail. Um, it has one two three four five different pockets um there's one in the back right here kind of for like i feel like i would put like a laptop in there almost just so that way it's like close to my back there's one with a big part there's a medium sized one and in the medium sized one it also has these little compartments for like any you know pens or pencils or maybe just you know gum or something and then in the smaller side there's just a little area for that one. And then also on this side, there is another type of zipper like this with a little mesh right there. And then on the sides, there are two mesh um, holders for like your water bottles or anything like that. Um, this one's from Pink, as you can see, as it says Pink Across. And this one I believe was $65. Um, I got mine on a discount um, with the 20% off that they had so mine was about um, I don't know 61 ish uh, after tax and everything the next thing that you're gonna want to have is a survival kit slash emergency kit so I have this one it's from Victoria's Secret um, it just opens up like this and it's really cute it has the little name and it has these little I don't know the dazzle thingies in there um, and on the inside, I just have some hand sanitizer, some lotion, um, chapstick, lip gloss, mascara, for some reason. Um, and I also probably would put a compact mirror in here, just so that way I can, you know, look at myself, see if I need any touch-ups or anything like that throughout the day. Also, some oil blotting sheets. I tend to get oily throughout the day sometimes, so those would be really good to have. The next item is this pencil bag. Um, this one just says tech gear on it. It's just very plain and basic black ones. It opens up like this um, and all that stuff. There's really good stuff in here. So this one would be really good to use. Um, there's no pockets inside, so it's just kind of like a flat surfaced one. On the inside of this, we have some of these little sticky tabs. Um, I use these for my AP homework whenever I'm reading. Um, I like to mark the different chapters in my book. And so that way whenever we go over a chapter of anything, I can just flip right to the page and voila, there it is. Or I like to use these just for, you know, if I want to add little notes or something next to them. Along with that, I have these two mechanical pencils. These are probably by far my favorite mechanical pencils like ever. They're so good and they're so nice. And I feel like you buy these at the beginning of the school year and then you kind of lose them. But then later on you find more and just have them and they're always different colors you can take off the tops a little bit if it would even come off and you can switch them so you can put like the pink on the purple and the purple on the pink so you can have two different colored tops there is a pack that comes with different colors of these you can also buy different colors of the erasers so they just roll up like this um, you can also take the top off to put the lead in and then you just press the little side of the button and the light comes out the next thing are these highlighters that I use, and I use them from Japan. I order mine off of Amazon, so that's where they come from. They're just these five highlighters. There's yellow, green, orange, pink, and blue, and these are really, really good. Um, I really trust these a lot. They're not so uh, dark that they bleed through the paper, but they're dark enough that you can see them. So there's just two sides. There's a bold side for regular just highlighting the words. And there's a fine side so that way you can, some people write with their highlighters. So there's a side for that as well. The next thing that I like to keep with me are pens. And I use the G2 Pilot pens in the 07 type ballpoint, I think is what it is. So they just come in all different colors. I have two packs of them. I have a pack of 10 and a pack of 12, I believe. And they are probably the best pens ever. Like, 
they're so nice and they write so good and I just love using them in all the different colors and you know using them for notes and everything so these are really really good ones to use I also keep with me a little flash drive so whenever I have a project due or anything like that and I want to work on it at home or if I want to work on it you know at a different class or anything like that I can just plug this right in and my project will be there and I will save it on here um, I also use this for music and any videos or anything like that the next thing are these sticky notes I have a pack of five of them there's a greenish type color blue pink orange and yellow so the same colors as the highlighters that I showed you um, they're just regular post-it notes that I I use um, I use them for books and to write notes on or I use them for just you know little reminders or anything like that I like to write reminders and stick them on my mirror so that way the next morning I wake up and I'm like oh yeah gotta remember that the next thing is probably the most important thing in my opinion it's just this planner and it says 2018 and it has these cute little flower design on them and it's really really nice and durable it has like a little plastic covering and I think you can switch out the covering as well. So if you want to buy like a new covering or anything like that. And so if you open it up, it's just a weekly planner. It has January through December and it has a calendar section. So you can write all of your dates in it and everything like that. And you can write notes on the side. And then it also has a section for writing like your different assignments on your days or anything. I really like that. You know to write down what I have due that day or what I have for homework or anything like that so it just has the, all the months and everything so this is really good to use for any homework or very special events that are coming up um, even if it's not for school it's very good to have just for all your important you know events and everything like that the next thing that I have is a calculator mine is pink and it is a Texas Instruments and it just slides open and goes in like this and it just looks like this very plain Actually, it's actually kind of fancy. Uh, very generic and everything like that. This one, you can have a graph on it. I don't know if you all can see that. There's my ring light, as you can see in the reflection. But you can do a graph and all of that stuff. And this is really good to use um, for any math class, I feel like. It is very spendy, I will say. This is like hundred twenty dollars maybe but it will last you forever and it comes with a little charger that you just plug in right here and the red light will come on and once the red light I think turns off it'll tell you that it's fully charged and it has a little battery in the corner so that way it tells you you know how much battery you have left so this is really a very good one to use I use this for all my math classes so I would recommend getting one of these the next thing are note cards I have a pack of just plain white ones that have lines on one side and a you know clear side on the other and then I also like using colored ones this one comes with yellow purple green pink and blue um, I really like using colored ones for different classes that way I can kind of put them in different orders and that way I remember like oh yeah blue so that goes with English and I can just remember like you know cards and words more on here any information or anything like that so now we are going to get into more of the bigger items this one is just a binder that I really like this one says life is pretty good and it has little flower designs on it and everything like that it kind of hard to see with all the reflections um, but it's just a normal three ring binder inside it has little polka dots on it um, this one's really good I feel like um, it's very dirt st sturdy and it's really nice um, for just any of my classes I use this for my design class and I really really like it and it's really really helpful to keep all of my you know work organized the next binder is a one and a half inch just regular blue binder I use this for my English class and on the inside it's like that D shaped ring as you can see um, I have a notebook in here for English it's just a blue college ruled notebook I love college ruled notebooks I do not like wide ruled ones they are awful <laughs> in my opinion but this one's really good to use um, just as a plain one for just any subject I feel like um, for me it would be English just because that is the most I will be doing for homework or anything like that the next thing are notebooks and as you saw in the last item there was a binder with that blue notebook in it I color code all of my stuff so everything that is a certain color goes with a certain subject so for blue I have it for English here is a purple one that I will probably use for like history or something it's just a plain you know 100 page college world notebook and then I also have a pink one which I will probably use for 
some other class, uh, probably for my science class, um, I have marine biology, so that's going to be really fun to use. Um, so again, just regular college world notebook. And then for my math notebook, I use the color blue. And instead of using lined paper, I actually use graphing paper for my math subject and so I use graphing paper just because for me I'm in a I'm in algebra now and so I like to use graphing paper easier for when we make graphs because it's just nicer and it makes my lines more neat and it's just way easier to organize all of my information the next thing that I have are folders I use five star folders because I feel like these are the most durable ones um, they just look like this on the outside on the inside they have two little pockets and then it has another pocket for flashcards which I really like Plus, it has this little tab up here to keep all your papers good and secure. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks like that. And it has these little three rings in there, so that way you can put papers in there if you need to. And I color code these also. So these come in blue for my English, um, purple for history or whatever, pink for my science class or anything like that, and blue for my math class. The next thing that I like to have is just regular loose paper. Um, this one is 150 sheets, it's college ruled. Um, this is really, really good to have just because I know that there are times where your teacher might be like, okay, get out a sheet of paper and write something down and people tend to rip out of notebooks. But in the long run, you're gonna need the paper in the notebook more than you're gonna need like loose paper. So like you're gonna want to keep that paper in the notebook rather than taking it out and everything. So it's always good to have this. I usually keep this in like my English binder or just in a regular one inch binder or something just to have. And then the next thing is also another sheet of paper, but this one is graphing paper. So for my math class, if we ever have a time where it's like, okay, get out a sheet of paper, you know, for a test, like you can use one sheet of paper. I get graphing paper out. That way it is way easier for me to draw out a graph if I need to, or if it's way easier for me to separate my work into different sections. So this one is just 80 sheets and it's a five by five graph ruled paper. And it is very, very nice to use for math for my, my use as well. Another thing that I like to use is dividers. I don't have any right now. I have to go pick them up from the store. But I really like using dividers. Um, I put them in all my binders and sometimes I put them in the folders that you saw with the you know three little tabs that you can put paper in just because it's way easier to separate like if it's for english i can use them for the different books that i have or if it's for math or something i can use them for the different sections we have i also like to keep a pair of headphones my charger and some gum also with me so that is like my three main essentials also a water bottle because stay hydrated and that is it for this haul. I really hope you all enjoyed this and I hope it gave you a lot of ideas on what you might want to get while you are shopping for your school supplies. I know it's a sad, sad time, but in my opinion, I love school supply shopping. You get a reason to shop. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know whenever I post. Follow me on all my social media that will be linked down below. Please stay tuned for all my other back to school videos. I might be doing another clothing haul, so stay tuned for that. I hope you all have a fabulous night or day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you all next Thursday. Okay, bye.